Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Lemon Squad? It is the Loki rework. We are sitting on the PTS, my boys. I am fighting uh, the Baron, aka Trevor, aka Vice President of High Res. Um, I got clout, whatever. Kidding, I don't have clout. I'm just friends with him. Um, I'm just gonna do the normal build because I don't know what's n well. I know what's new about him, but I don't know what the best build would be. So. Let's just run over everything real quick. Um, let me message him. Well, actually, no. I'll just do it on my own time. The one didn't change. There's nothing new about the one. Um, other than the fact that when you get hit, you pop up for a second. Uh, like you unstealth for like a millisecond. And then you just get stealthed again. So it's not that big of a deal. The change to the, uh, to the one wasn't really... Anything to note. The two is no longer a taunt. It is instead this. Um, which basically, I know that was a lot. That, that was a lot that, that just happened there. So I'll go over it. It's basically you sit there, uh, or not you, but your clone sits there. It doesn't taunt the enemies anymore, but it does do AoE damage around them. And over a period of time... You will get blinded by standing in them. Or in the two. Um, the three is five attacks that do benefit from his passive, which um if you don't know his passive, it's it, it didn't change, it's just the extra damage from behind. But a good thing to note about the two is that if you get four ticks of damage on them, it ticks pretty quick. It might be three ticks, actually. I'm not quite sure. You'll notice that my three, which is, um, which I'll go over in a second, but my three actually did my backstab damage from the front. So, um, your two, after a couple of ticks, will blind them, letting you get your passive damage no matter where you are in relation to them. So, again, I'll show you real quick. One, two, three. And then you'll see my three does the backstab damage um, from the front. I wonder, does it tell you? Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's four stacks, not three stacks. Perfect. Um, okay. Next up is the three. Three is replaced aimed strike is what it used to be called, I believe. Um, and now it is fury strike or flurry strike. It's now five hits and then... A fifth hit that does extra damage, so I'll show you it here. That's not, that was that six hits? Why did that look like six hits? It says five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it's broken. It's PTS, so it's broken. But it's supposed to be five hits with the fifth hit doing a lot of damage. Um, it's broken right now, so it does six hits, but whatever. I'll tell Trevor after the game. Um, Alright, and there you go. You saw the alt right there. Pretty much just because I almost died and I had to use it. I didn't almost die, but... Yeah. So, the alt is much more team player. It basically... It's the same alt as he used to have where you teleport to the target and you do some damage. But... Instead of bursting them, hold on, I'm clearing. Uh, instead of bursting them, you actually teleport to them, and when you land, you're doing an AOE stun and damage to the anyone in the cone. So you can see right here, um, it'll slice the target, doing damage and crippling them for one second. Uh, after he teleports, he will wind up his heavier strike, which is the cleave you saw and damage all enemies in front of him and stunning him so basically he got from really bad team fight potential to one of the best assassins and team fight potential um obviously hun bats is still number one because that all is nuts mcgee but you can see here like you can max the three instead of the clear now and still be really effective at clearing. So it's really nice. 
Um. Oh, he stunned my flurry. Here, I'll show you the alt one more time. Hit it, stun him, and it does extra damage on the stun too, so. We'll blind him a little bit. Use the bracer, hit him with the flurry. Good kill, man. Good kill. So, uh, something I didn't I don't think I mentioned with the two. I did mention that it blinds them, but it's not bless you. It's not just um for the passive, it is literally a blind on their screen. Um, which I'll do another video showing the other side of this, like against a Loki player. But showing the screen actually Hydra's isn't very good on Loki anymore. But the two literally does blind them. Like their screen gets all green and and blurry and shit. It's not absolutely insane because it's not the biggest inconvenience. But if you were to play Conquest and you were in a team fight and that happened to you, I am guarantee you'd miss like... You'd miss a Kukul and charge an alt or something and you'd get smacked in the dick. Please don't stun me. Come here. Okay, fine. Also, you can see the, the blind effect on them there. Which is nice to note. He's got no mana, which means he's dead as can Ninkum Poop. So that is one of the new combos you can do with Loki, where basically you can put down your two, the little bleed ticking damage that you can do. This would be useful um, in case of a you can put the two down, accidents. and then alt them inside, which again will cripple them for a second, and stun them, and then you heavy cripple and stun them. Take the full duration of your two. It's pretty much the same kind of combo you can do with Loki now, except I believe it actually does more damage now than what it used to do. Um, so that's pretty much all of his abilities, all his passives, and all the changes to his kit. Now... Now we'll go into, um, man, the three doing an extra hit of damage is kind of brokes, I'll be honest. Now we'll go into, like, his auto attack progression change because it's a big deal. He, if you remember from, I think, season five, could be season six, um... Loki got his damage multiplier on his progression right here for the first auto attack. He got it taken away. He was doing too much burst damage and Hydra was too good on him. So they removed the extra damage on the reset. Which they've never done for any other character in the game. And it seemed kind of niche to only do that to Loki. So they actually reverted it. Now that he doesn't have aim strike and the ult that reset him. Um, please don't kill me. Oh my god. I was so close to not being alive. I see shadows. But yeah, so now you can auto reset with him with your um with your one. Uh but they were they took away the auto reset from the alt and the three, so it is a big change for the burst damage on the one. But other than that, it's not I guess that big of a deal. Um but it can still help you get a lot of kills without your ult. He's actually really fun to play now. And he's not as scummy. Like, you have the stealth effect, which is annoying to deal with. But it's not completely scummy because even though he stealths, he can't just completely one-shot you for no reason anymore. No, his damage is a build-up. And it's a lot of little numbers building up to a lot of damage. Rather than, uh-oh... You're dead. You know, like, at least it's not that anymore, which is nice. Alright, I'm big fucking dead right now. He's so speedy. He got haste and katana. My man's is quick. I'm gonna go crusher. I don't know what the best build with this is because 
Let's look at his scaling here. Holy shit, his alt scaling is large. Very large. Because <laughs> if you get the cripple damage and the heavy, which is the cleave damage, it scales at almost 150% of your power. Which is a lot for a physical character. Well, really, it's a lot for any character, to be completely honest. Well, you can cancel the three. That's actually pretty noteworthy. So you could get Hydras to work on him, actually, by canceling the three. I wouldn't recommend it, to be completely honest, but it wouldn't be the worst thing you've ever done, that's for sure. Yeah, so that one of the best things about your two now is that they they actually just can't fight you in it. If they jump into the two, then you'll do behind you damage, which is his passive. No matter what. Perfect. Perfect kill. Can you cancel your one? You cannot. Okay. So the three doesn't look like it does too much damage until you get the behind you proc off the two. Which is okay. I don't think he can catch me. He can't catch me, okay. Um So it seems God damn, dude. Once you get that behind you proc, though, from your two on buff clear or something, you just do so much damage. Alright. Um... Oh no. No, I almost actually turned that. He's so fast, though. He's so fast. I have to one-shot him if I want a chance. Heartseeker probably does so good on him now. I mean, Heartseeker did good on him before, but, like, you have an extra ability now. Literally all four of your abilities proc Heartseeker. Before, he only had three abilities that proc Heartseeker, so this is probably even better on him now. So let's grab a Heartseeker. His gameplay style seems completely different. You know, he used to just run at waves and clear them and run away. But his two can't clear by itself now. You have to be there to clear. Like, I have my two max and it won't even clear melee here. Going full power with Heartseeker. Yeah, it, w it won't even clear the melees. Well, that's bad. Damn. Damn, boys. Lost Phoenix. Out of potential L. I don't know how far minions were away, though. Was that one of them their L's? <laughs> he taunted me. Fuck you, Trevor. All right, looks like I'm gonna have to go a little bit more try hard on my boy here. Your titan is under my Titan is under attack now. I don't take too kindly to that.
Right. I wonder if Golden Blade would actually be good on him now. Since you have to help your clear. Golden Blade's good on everyone. What am I saying? The fact that you get behind you damage on anything with your two is super huge. Mm. Gonna plop that down, do some damage to the minions there. Nice, that was so much damage. How much did my alt hit for? 530. It's less damage than what it does right now, but... It also stunned him long enough to get a kill before he could alt. So I don't know, I think it might be better. Does this get targeted by towers? Ooh, it doesn't! Okay. It doesn't, that's nice. Nice to know. By the way, I'd literally never live it down if I lost this match, which is why I gotta try hard just a just a bit. No, I can't let him beat me. If he beats me, I will never ever hear the end of it. A pretty blade. I'd steal it if I could. Does he have any anti heal? He does not. Oh my god, dude. My burst is insane. I mean, I do have full damage. And he has full damage too, but holy shit. Yeah, Heartseeker did 190 there. Group him up. Yeah, that. I mean, that's how you clear right there. Group him up with the two and then you three him. Does this still work? Ah, no more Loki cheese. Hell yeah. They're just fixing everything with the rework, huh? Every every Loki player's main attractions. Run around and instant clear. They're fixing everything. Alright, he didn't get blinded by that, so. Oh my god! Yo, the alt is so much more satisfying. You get behind you damage on the Titan. Oh, you do? Kinda sick, actually. Alright, GG, boys. God Mastery 40. I have every god in the game mastered, but I'm glad that I have 40 at least. Um, oh, God Mastery 100. Wow, look at that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.